welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be doing a tutorial on this smoky green halo eye. Um, I haven't done a smoky eye in quite a while, and so I figured uh, why not go ahead and do it with some color. You guys know that I have been loving curl lately, and so I figured I'd go ahead and do the smoky eye with the color that I don't use very often. I typically don't like to play in green very much just because I don't like green <laughs> that much, but we pulled it off for this look. And that's because this shade of green is more so like, it has a bit of a golden undertone in it. I'm um, gonna kind of also ombre it out into like a, you know, darker forest green there. So we pulled it off, made it work. Um, and you guys will see how we achieve it. So I just wanted to get that out the way before we jump into the tutorial. Um, if you guys do like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in my next video. All right guys, so first we are starting off by moisturizing our skin. I'm gonna be using the MAC Strobe Kick Cream. And this is actually a sample that I got in a recent order. So I'm kinda of still testing it out to see how I feel about it, but I like it so far. Um, for the brows, I'm using, y'all already know, the Holy Grail uh, Benefit Brow in the shade number five. And then supplying this to my brows, I do the exact same routine. I line the bottom, line the top, and then lightly fill in, you know, the actual brow. After that, I'm gonna go in and clean up the bottom of my brow using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC42. Um, and just apply this right under the brow with a flat, like a flat definer brush, and then basically blend it downwards and blend it out with my fingers to kind of get rid of that harsh line. And I do that on both brows. After I finish both brows, I'm going to go in with my MAC Lane Low Paint Pot and just apply this all over both lids with a just a small stippling brush. And this, of course, acts as a great eye primer to make sure that I, eyeshadow stays intact all day. Now to help control the oil throughout the day, I'm going to take my Becca Evermatte Primer, this is my absolute favorite, and apply it to my T-zone. And then I'm going to lightly color correct um, under my eye with just a light orange color corrector. Um, this was an old one from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, but any you know corrector will work. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation in the shade 460 Suede. You guys know I have been loving this foundation in it. My my thoughts on it are still the same. I'm still obsessed with it. I'm gonna just take this and just apply it all over with a flat um, buffing brush and just really press it into the skin to get a nice even coverage. For concealer, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C10. And okay, so if you guys saw my review, you guys saw that I wasn't a huge fan of it, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that the next day or the next couple days I had tried out shade C10 and I loved it. So I figured out how to make it work. I just let it, I don't let it sit for as long as I did before. And then I also make sure that my beauty blender is really, really nice and damp. Like I leave it under the sink for like 30 seconds and then squeeze all the water out and you know, blend it out with a really damp beauty blender and it blends out flawlessly. So I love, love, love it now. Okay, so to set my under eyes in those hotted areas, I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that to those areas. Again, it's under my eye, cupid's bow area, bridge of my nose, and my forehead. And then I'm gonna set my entire face with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC45. And I like to use this powder only because it's a little bit more full of coverage, and so it kinda, you know, really helps to make sure that everything's covered paired with that foundation. So bronze, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep and it's applying this to my cheekbones and also around my forehead to kind of warm up the skin and then to further contour, which is basically to further define those features, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Tan to Deep, I believe is what it's called. Can't forget to contour the nose. And then I also did apply a little bit of powder, um, a little bit of the RCMA powder right along the cheekbone area to carve out those cheeks and really make them really pop and just make that line really sharp. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. This is an oldie but goodie and take a soft brown shade kind of just apply all over the crease, you know, to act as our traditional transition shade. And then I'm gonna go in with this reddish brownish shade and apply that to the crease as well to basically warm up the eye and kind of create a more defined crease. And as you can see, it's actually really warming up that eye area and just adding, you know, a nice pop of color. Um, and this will help in aiding the smoky eye whenever you go in and blend it out. 
And also if you notice, whenever I am blending, I am blending the shadow, kind of creating like, I'm blending it downwards and creating like a soft outer V on the outer corner of the eye. Just gonna, you know, add some color there as well. Now I'm just taking a little bit of that same Makeup Revolution concealer and it's applying it to the, only to the center of the eye, you guys. I'm not applying it all over the lid, but kind of focusing it right in the center. And then of course, go ahead and blend out the edges with my fingers. Now, now for this step, I'm actually gonna just be mixing a bunch of different eyeshadows to create that gradient effect. So I took that darker green shade from a old Beach Cosmetics palette, and now I'm taking the light green shade from the Juvia's Place Saharan palette and popping that in the middle. So basically what we're doing is it's basically a halo eye, and you want our lightest shade to be in the center and of course to fade into the darker shade. So hence why the Juvia's Place is in the center. There's, you know, the base green already there, and then we'll go ahead and add on some darker greens from there. And then I'm gonna also go in with this dark green shimmer from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and let's pop this on the inner and outer corner. So as you can see, I'm kind of building up the green. So I started off with the, you know, a darker green added you know, on a lighter green in the center and then adding on, you know, a darker, smokier green on the inner and outer corner. And then here I am just adding just a little bit more smokiness. I wanted to take like a really nice, pretty um, matte green um, and apply that also to the inner and outer corner as well. So this look, you guys, as you can see, is all about blending. And also I didn't mention that that matte green shade that I'm applying right now is also from the Jaclyn Hill uh, palette from Morphe. Y'all, it's all about blending and layering and blending and layering until you kind of get that, you know, desired ombre effect. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with Fix Plus to, of course, get rid of that powdery look and then go in with lips. So for lips, I'm actually going to use a very unique combo. I'm taking the MAC Night Moth Lip Liner, which is a plum shade. As you can see, it's just a really pretty, you know, normal plum but I'm gonna mix it with a nude lipstick which I honestly don't do very often but I like the way it looked and they you know when it was paired together so I just took more creamer please which was by dose of colors and now I'm going in with the shade naked from Anastasia Beverly Hills right in the center to create a nice like rosy peachy nudish lip Okay, I went ahead and applied some black liner in my waterline, and I'm going ahead and smudging out uh, the lower lash line with the shade Sandalwood from that Huda Beauty palette. And now to add some glow, you guys know I love to glow, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, and it's applying, that's my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, and my chin area. And I kind of go back and forth between using my finger and just using a brush. Okay, and here is our friend, you guys, that wanted to visit. I don't even know why he's there, but he popped up. And whenever I have like a huge pimple like that, I always just take a pencil, apply it to the pimple to basically make it a fake beauty mark, and it looks perfectly fine. <laughs> For blush, I'm taking Coral Cove by Milani. As you can see, it's a nice blush of peach on the cheeks. And I'm gonna finish off the eyes with a nice pop of champagne in the inner corners on both eyes, of course. Okay, and then off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. I did use my oldies but goodies, which are the Coco Goddess lashes. And then I wanna take my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and apply that to my top and bottom lashes to kinda really, really smoke out, you know, smoke out the look. And once you have gone ahead and finished your makeup, you know, put on some earrings and fluffed up your hair, you guys, here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on this smoky green halo eye. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.